Hey, what's up? Cheap beer for you to drink. I am JJ with, as promised, a beer and a interesting one, one I've never seen before, one that apparently was released around April 2020, right as the world was shutting down. It is uh, <laughs> Deer Slayer. I mean, how can you not just stop and look at that can? That's a pretty metal can. <laughs> Deer Slayer beer, always in season. One pint, 3.2 fluid ounces, 5.2% uh, percent alcohol by volume. I am not a hunter, but I'm assuming <laughs> this is uh, marketed towards hunters. And actually, I'm not even assuming. I know for a fact it is because... On their website is a, is a little description that says, Deer Slayer is an easy-drinking golden ale made by avid sportsmen and hunters who happen to be first-class brewers. If you check out their uh, their Instagram and their Facebook page, an interesting note, their Instagram page said it's no longer being updated. The last post was at the end of 2021. So I'm wondering if they're phasing out this beer or they're just done promoting it on social media. Um, it's full of pictures of people outside doing things, either working in the yard or mostly hunting or things like that. Um, so this is definitely marketed towards the outdoorsy type person. Uh, proudly brewed in upstate New York by Contra Brewing Company in Cooperstown, New York. I can't find anything on this Contra Brewing Company. There's another Contra out there. I don't believe it's the same one. And I can't find any other beer that they make. Um... So it's just left a lot of questions, more questions than answers. Um, one last thing before we dive into it. <laughs> Apparently when they first launched it, uh, I thought this was really cool. and I'd love to see a lot of other beer brewers do it. Um, this logo was actually a peel decal that you could put on the back of your car or on your toolbox. Um, and I sat here for about five minutes trying to get this one off. Uh, this one is not the decal, but I think that is such a cool idea. So you just have a little sticker on there that you can take it off, slap it on wherever you want. Um, apparently this is a really good beer. Again, I have never seen it before, but when I saw it, I had to pick it up. I was like, that is, is pretty cool. Uh, when I was picking it up, I can't tell you the exact price because I picked it up and a Twisted Tea Blackberry and they... For both of those ran, I think it was just under $5. Twisted Teas in the tall can in my area, usually like $2.69 before tax, so close to three bucks. I'm guessing this thing was like a buck ninety-nine or somewhere around there, which I'll classify that as a cheap beer. I mean that's a pretty good price for a 19.2 fluid ounce can uh, at 5% alcohol, slightly above 5%. We'll see how it is. It smells really nice and pleasant. Um, look at that. It is golden for sure. I read a golden ale, blonde ale. Man, that is a beautiful gold color. Look at that. When was it canned? Best Buy. Oh no. I have a really old can. I wonder if they quit making this. It says Best Buy June 21st, 2022. I wonder, because I go to the place I picked it up quite often. I wonder if they just got in old stock. Because um, I haven't seen it in Ohio. <laughs> and the first time I see it, it's an expired can. That doesn't make any sense. Huh, I wonder if they quit making this. I'll try to find out more info, but that seems to be the case. Regardless, it smells really nice. Yeah, that smells pretty great. And look how good that looks. I hope that comes through on camera. Um, I just realized I didn't hook up all my lights that I normally have. So sorry if the lighting is a little bad. But, uh, man, look at that. There's actually some, a lot of floaty stuff going on in there. Carbonation looks about right. Looks pretty carbonated, actually. Let's try it out. This is Deer Slayer Beer. Oh man, the uh, last beer I had similar to this was that Budweiser Supreme that came out. Um, this is a really sweet beer. 
really easy drinking. I say really sweet, I mean pretty sweet. With a nice, clean finish. Um, I can't get over that. It's uh, pretty carbonated, pretty sweet. <laughs> um, I wish it had the ingredients on here or any more nutritional facts besides that it's just 5.2% alcohol, um, 19 ounces. I'm guessing the calories on this beer is pretty high uh, because it tastes so good. Um, I mean, it, it's a pretty good beer. I, I would probably say that Budweiser Supreme is, is better than this one. Um, but hey, this is really easy to drink. I could sit here all day and look at that. Yeah, uh, that's too bad. That's too bad that it seems like this beer is done for. Just solely on the purpose that um, they haven't been posting on social media in the past five months. And it says this account is like no longer active. Something along those lines. I think that is really interesting. And the, the page has only had like 600 likes, which uh, isn't that much. Especially for a, a beer. So who knows? Maybe I wasn't supposed to find this. Maybe this, uh, like, I definitely wasn't supposed to find a can. This old Best Buy, am I reading this right? Best Buy 01, 21, 22. Yeah, this beer, uh, who knows when it was made. Best Buy January. Honestly, wouldn't be able to tell from the taste, though. I mean, this is what it tastes like. <laughs> well past its Best Buy date. Um, I would wonder, no, wanna... Want to know, wonder to know, combine those two. Uh, I would want to know what it tastes like fresh. But uh, hey, this isn't bad. I'm trying to think of what else I can compare it to. Anything like a, it's actually really similar to like a Budweiser. Especially that one that we did most recently. Wow. Tastes like it's got 5% alcohol on it. That tastes... It does taste pretty strong. Uh, man, this is a really interesting beer. I'd like to know if you've seen it or if you've tried it or if you know anything else about it. If you live in upstate New York, you know who makes this. Really interested in finding more info on it. But that's too bad. It's too bad that it seems like it's pretty much done for. Or maybe they just have a new uh, Instagram account and they haven't updated their website. Who knows? Uh, but for the most part, that's, that's a pretty good beer. I would pick this up again, definitely. Especially if this can have that little decal. Pretty cool can. It's cheap beer for you to drink. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for other beers out there. I'd recommend this one, especially for that price. And again, that it's this smooth. <laughs> it's pretty old. Pretty good stuff. If you have any requests, let me know down below. Uh, I keep seeing that a lot of people want me to try the poolside Truly uh, Seltzers. And I will. I haven't wanted to because the Trulies have been so bad lately. I think these are going to be pretty rough. But that'll probably be my next video. There's also a brand new White Claw out there that no one's really talking about. I'm going to have to get my hands on. Uh, it's cheap beer for you to drink. Thanks for watching.